So there is a voltaic cell that is based on uh, copper ions and copper and uh, brom and brom ions. So um, the first task is what is the standard EMF of the cell. For this you have the standard EMF of the cathode, it's the brom, and the anode, that's the copper. And you just have to uh, subtract the from the anode from the cathode and so there is uh, 0.72 volts as the standard EMF of the cell. That's the first. Um, the second one is which reaction occurs at the cathode and which one at, and which one at the anode of the cell. Um, just simple, at the anode the copper is oxidized and at the cathode the brome is reduced. Uh, the third task is a little bit more difficult. Um, uh, I had to use S values in Appendix C and the relationship between cell potential and free energy change to predict whether the cell potential increases or decreases when the temperature is raised above 25 degrees. So what happens when you uh, increase the temperature of the reaction? Um, with this you would need uh, Gibbs enthalpy and um, you have two electrons for N, for F the Faraday constant and E is uh, the standard EMF. 0.72. Um, you put it together, all the, uh, the numbers together, the two for the two electrons, then the Faraday constant and the MF, um, and you get minus 138.9 kilojoule per mole. Um, that's the Gibbs constant. Uh, the whole entropy, delta S, you need the entropies of the products minus the entropies of the adducts. Then you have the, um, you put it all together. The unit is every time joule per kelvin and mole, and you get to minus one hundred twenty-three point seventy-eight joule per kelvin and mole. Uh, with this, you can see the cell potential will decrease as temperature increases. This is because um, delta S is negative and so delta G will become more positive with rising temperature. Uh, with a bigger delta G so comes a smaller E. Uh, 